I'm often asked, do we really need carbon removal to meet our climate goals? Without a doubt, the answer is yes. Why? Because the current concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is already dangerous, and it's still growing. We can and must cut emissions rapidly, but that won't be enough to keep temperature rise in check. In order to stabilize the CO2 in our atmosphere, we must both reduce emissions to as close to zero as possible and remove carbon dioxide that's already in the atmosphere due to decades of fossil fuel combustion and deforestation. We need every tool at our disposal to prevent the most dangerous impacts of climate change, and carbon removal is a key piece of the puzzle. We can remove CO2 from the atmosphere through natural and technological approaches and lock it away for decades, centuries, or even millennia. Tree planting and sustainable agricultural practices are essential and will play a key role. But land is finite, and the impacts of warming temperatures like wildfire and pests threaten the efficacy and permanence of natural solutions. So we also need to remove excess CO2 from our air using new technologies like direct air capture or DAC. DAC absorbs carbon dioxide directly from the air. The CO2 can then be permanently disposed of in geologic formations or turned into rock through a process known as mineralization. The world's leading scientists have found that both natural solutions and technological carbon removal are needed to achieve our climate targets. And by mid-century, the U.S. will need up to two gigatons of carbon removal annually to meet our net zero emissions goal. We must invest in carbon removal today to accelerate research and testing and build facilities and infrastructure. And we must pioneer scaling up carbon removal in a responsible and equitable way. If we do these things, we have a fighting chance of removing CO2 at the necessary scale by mid-century and making the world safer for all of us.